newland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and if you've got nothing else less boring or more boring to do. Does that make sense? Huh. Huh. Anyway, what I thought I would do, well first of all say hello, hope you're all well, and I thought I'd do a bit of website stuff while I'm talking to you, go through some of the bits that I do. I do this occasionally. Um, it's not, I suppose you could say it's multitasking. And there is, sometimes I do think, you know, I've just spent three hours doing this online and I could have been talking while I was doing this. But I don't want to get in the habit of doing that, you know. Because, well, it's boring, but then it's supposed to be boring. Uh, I have to get my head around this. I've been doing this for... It's nearly two years now I've been doing these podcasts to let me bore you to sleep. I think I started about January, possibly February 2018. I can't remember, but it's... I still struggle to get my head around the idea that it's boring and it's supposed to be boring and there's a there's, there's a part of me wants to make it interesting you know there's a part of me alright there's a part of me that actually doesn't want to come across as being boring but that's the whole point of it you know this oh, I kind of I suppose it's the ego, you know, I kind of, I like to think that there's some of you sitting there or listening, lying down thinking, oh, that Jason, he sounds lovely and he sounds, he sounds so interesting, oh, oh I'd love to, love to meet him, I think it'd be amazing, he's like so, so interesting, but in reality, that's not what this is about. And also, I'm not. <laughs> no one has ever, <laughs> no one has ever, and I don't even know why I'm laughing, I should be crying. No one's ever described me as being interesting. I, I don't think anyone has ever, like, I don't think, I can't imagine there's anybody saying, you know that, Jason, oh, I hope he comes, I hope he comes to dinner you know, to the Christmas dinner, family Christmas dinner. He's so interesting. He's got so many interesting things to say. Because I don't really. I'm more like a rebound off of what other people say. Um, you know, as far as, like, conversations go. Um, yeah. Hmm. So, if you listen every day, which I know some some of you do, you will be, you might be aware that I mentioned my website at the beginning of this recording, when yesterday I mentioned that I'd, <laughs> I thought I'd got rid of my website. Well, I did, but it's up again. I never deleted it, I just paused it if that makes sense. It's kind of, uh, I paid up to the 18th of December for the website. So I can I can delete it and start it again as many times as I want and I don't lose any of the content. Unlike with uh, GoDaddy. Because uh, it's with Shopify. The... I also started thinking I was in bed. I spent a lot of time in bed recently. 
Um, I've made a new rule up. A new rule. If I feel tired and I want, or if I want to lay down in bed, then I just do. Without feelings of guilt or anything like that. I just do it. And it's not about falling asleep. Sometimes it is a case of just being with Andre because he likes to sleep on my bed. And I just quite like to be close to him sometimes and just like, you know, I don't cuddle him because he doesn't like to be cuddled when he's asleep. He likes to be left alone. But it's not, unless he decides to sort of cuddle up to me. Sometimes I like put my hand on him and, you know, stroke him and stuff. And other times I'll have my hand, he'll actually lay on my hand. So, you know, but then when he does that, there's times when I think, just get off me, leave me alone. <laughs> you don't like me touching you, so you shouldn't touch me. <laughs> no, I don't. But uh, I find that quite cute. There's this... It doesn't show very often with him, but I think this I think he's got a lot of love in him. But he's just... I think it, the the naughtiness <laughs> takes over. Um, it's quite weird. I just, I just, I just, I really feel like we communicate. Like, it gives me a glance, and I know that he's telling me that he wants his dinner, or he wants me to change his water. He always lets me know when he wants me to pick him up when we're walking. He's found ways that he does... Basically, he's trained me to do certain things. And, you know, it's this... I don't know, I think it's quite cute. It's quite cute. Um, so today's Monday, and I've got the, the last things of my... I ordered some... I ordered some, uh, for Christmas, I ordered some stuff online on the catalogue, Christmas presents for family members, because uh, I just don't have the money to buy anything. So I ordered it, and I'll pay it back, you know, uh, over time. And I thought I'd get myself a present, because I'm, I've got, for my dad, I've bought an uh, Amazon Echo or Alexa Echo thing I've got one of those for my brother and for my sister as well so I've got three of them for each of them for their houses um, for my for my little brother my other brother he I've got him an Apple travel kit you know like an adapter kit for plugs and stuff because he likes to, he, he goes away with his girlfriend to different countries and stuff, like usually once or twice a year, and he's really into his gadgets, so I got him that, so that's a, hopefully a useful gift for him. For the twins, I've got a set of, like, it's a Toy Story walkie-talkie, so they're my niece and nephew, and they're twins, and they're I thought, what, what, what could be a really cool present for, for to buy for the two of them that they can share a walkie-talkie set? So I got that, and that's quite cool. And for my little niece, I got a, a crayon set. It's like a case of crayons and stuff inside. And for my other niece, the older niece, I'm oh, just going to give her some money. So that will be. Um, She's like 11 or something now, so she'd probably appreciate money more than presents. And she can kind of do what she wants with it. And so I'm waiting tomorrow to get the Apple, my brother, the little brother's present. I say little, he's 40, 41 or something now, but he's, and he's not little either. He's big, strong fella, but he's younger, so I kind of call him my little brother. 
and he's taller than me and but most people are so hey mind you it was pointed out to me the other day that it's not our truthful statement is it that most people are because there are millions of babies and they're all smaller than me so yeah it's true and what was I going to say yes I've got these uh, I've got that coming tomorrow so what I thought because most of the stuff I buy is for the flat or it's not for me um, sort of like I bought a microwave well, it's for me but it's not it's not it's it's kind of a useful thing you know and it really is because I've oh I'll touch to you about the microwave in a minute but so I got a microwave a few weeks back and I had to get a new kettle and a new toaster so I got those and I got a, a Breville um, toast thing you know where you can make toasted sandwiches and I've always wanted one of them so I got that so you could say that's for me I kind of can I, when it's something involves cooking I don't class that as a pleasurable thing it's just to me in a sense that's just feeding the toilet you know so it's a it is it's almost it's, it's a present for the toilet so <laughs> I think air freshener would probably be a better present and the other things I've been getting hold of like um, stuff for the coat racks and the shed again not really for me when it's all put together you know when I've got the soundproofing in that'll be for when I make the you know other recordings that I do although I do have soundproofing in this room in the living room I've got soundproofing all the way across three walls and then there's some on the other wall as well so I'm hoping that that I hope it because I, I make these recordings I hope it sounds alright I know it's quite low um, volume but that's the volume that I talk at I'm a quiet talker uh, unless I'm talking to someone outside and there's traffic going by because you kind of got to talk louder and I don't like that because that I don't like how my throat is when I do that does that make sense it kind of feels a bit um, a bit uh, a bit uh. so yeah I don't like the uh, I like my throat to be nice and gentle <laughs> If that makes sense, just just soft, and anyway, what I've what I've done, I thought I'll get myself a Christmas present. Again, I won't pay for it until. Well, I figured I could pay for all this stuff by probably August next year should all be paid off and so I'm gonna I, I've got myself some headphones and some really good ones which uh, the reason for it and again it's not really it's partly pleasure partly um I would say necessity in a sense of when I go out I've got I've got very sensitive hearing um, so when I'm in public the I get a little bit overloaded by you know sensory wise with my hearing so auditory overload or whatever you want to call it so if I'm on a bus you know with all the chatter people talking or maybe the if I'm on the, the road walking and all the traffic 
like in town people talk you know it can just be a little bit um i i just don't enjoy it and it it, it affects me it affects me so i got some headphones but they go in your ear and they're really good but you know they're great if you're sitting somewhere but if you're walking around they well for me they just keep falling out like I keep pushing them in just to make sure they don't fall out so they're great if I'm sitting here watching telly late at night I have I have the headphones on so I don't um, so I'm not you know, making noise and stuff and also sometimes I like to watch films on quite high volume uh, even though I'm not really into loud sound there are times when I am and that would be more in a like a movie setting you know and also when I'm listening to music so I've got Amazon um, Amazon Music you know the Unlimited or whatever it's called you know where it's £7.99 a month and you pretty much get hold of practically every album there is nearly so I have that so in the evenings or at night time sometimes I listen to that as well I listen to music if I'm doing something on online so I use the headphones I've got and they're really good it's really you know they're they're good quality and everything but when I go out they keep falling out I mean the other the other day last probably about three weeks ago I had my coat on and I think it was the first time I had my big coat on because I hadn't needed it until then so maybe it was a month ago I suddenly realised that my left ear thing because they're wireless so they haven't got any wires connected which is what wireless means and it was missing and I was looking around couldn't see where it was I was on the bus and the lady or the female and the lady or female she was a girl I don't know the human female behind me the girl I mean she was she was young so she was a girl she couldn't have been more than about 16, 17 and she said oh it's on there and it was on the floor I'm not sure she was going to tell me I'm not sure she was going to have that I think I'll have that because you can use them just with one headphone but uh, no she said oh it's there so I got it and I don't like picking stuff off the floor and then put it into my ear <laughs> just you just think of that picking something off the floor and putting it inside your ear Sounds wrong, doesn't it? So anyway, I've got these new headphones and they're over-the-ear ones. But they're really good ones. And that's my Christmas present for myself. Because I deserve... I deserve it. Um, I was going to say I've worked hard this year, but... Um, it's been It's been a challenging year. And I've definitely made a lot of recordings and hopefully help people to get to sleep with my boring stuff and so yeah that's my Christmas present to myself or I might class that as my Christmas present from Andre but I'm not going to put them I'm not going to wrap them up because I want to use them straight away or should I wrap them up for Christmas I could, couldn't I? No. No, I need them because I, I need to get, I have to go on a train in a couple of weeks. 
because they're, they're noise cancelling. So not only will I they cancel the noise from outside of me, outside of me, you know, the, the surrounding sound, but they're also, they're supposed to be really brilliant quality sound as well. And they're not allowed for people near me, so the people near me can't hear what I'm listening to, which is pretty good. It's very difficult though, because with the, with the headphones I've got at the moment, the wireless ones, I can't hear whether or not other people can hear it, because whenever I take one of them out of my ear, the music stops. So I want to take it out just to see whether or not I can hear it myself, but you can't, because it only works when it's in my ear. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be one of those people on a, on a bus with like loud music blaring out because it's just not fair, is it? Not fair on other people. But although I remember I had a, I had a, a neighbour, I've had lots of neighbours, and I've had lots of neighbours that have been uh, very generous with their music over the years but I had one and before I moved here and on one level I wanted to complain because music was too loud but on the other side I was like I really liked what he was playing <laughs> so I used to sit in bed just lay down and listen to his music because he used to play, play really good stuff and he, he never used to do it like late at night or anything he just have a little hour burst every sort of on a Saturday afternoon or something. So yeah, it was that was a weird one. It's like part of me like, oh, how dare he? Play oh, that's that's good. That's, oh. You know, sort of playing the jam and some madness and you know, late seventies, early eighties. Like, oh, that was my early childhood. I remember those songs. A quick drink. So actually what I'm going to do while I'm here on the on the laptop so I'm back on Facebook and Twitter again so all I need to do is make sure I don't get caught up in the old in people's uh, stories so I get a little bit just stuff just find it a little bit uh, full on sometimes you know because I don't generally I'm really on Facebook just to share my sessions I don't normally talk too much about what's going on in my life not that there's really ever much going on in my life but but I suppose I do when I make these recordings but you know let's have a look okay so I'm, oh I got a message I got a message oh, what does the message say what does the message say Jason I want you you're just too good to be true Um, okay, it's from Rachel, and it says you've got everything back. So, my this is one of my listeners. Hi, Rachel. And uh, so, let me just read out a couple of my messages. A message from Megan, I got, and she had a bit of problem with listening to it on Spotify but she said um, I absolutely love the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast until I fall asleep that is so that was nice, hi Rach uh, hi Megan um, and Juicy hi Juicy, that's another person thank you for your podcasts uh, thanks to you I'm able to get a good night's sleep again 
You aren't boring, but focusing on your voice helps me to get relaxed and eventually... Did you hear that train in the background? They don't do it during the day. But one o'clock in the morning, like it is now... And you could say, well, what am I worried about? Because I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm awake. But it's not, it's not always, you know, I'm thinking about other people. Other people that are trying to sleep. And, you know, I need to get up in the morning. So I, so I think. And it's a juicy, and my... Uh, my father was Italian. Your voice is so comforting. Thank you. So hi, Juicy. So uh, these are a few people I just want to say thank you to for the messages you leave and for the you know the kind words and, and for listening really. So the next one I want to say hello to Melanie, Mel, Mel Melons, Mel, Mel, Melanie, and. Oh, oh, so that's, I tell you, I can't, obviously I can't sort of show you a picture of her, but she's got the really, really lovely eyes. So I've always, I've always been kind of into brown eyes. And, um, so I'll just, just see something, um. She's got really like blue, bluey eyes, which is quite striking, you know. But anyway, I, <laughs> I'm not on here. I'm not trying to. Hey Mel, how you doing, Mel? And um, I haven't heard from her for a while, actually. Anyway, hello Melanie, thank you for listening, if you're still listening. Uh, here's another person called... Oh, this is from Gemma Alice. Hi Gemma Alice. And this is uh, she's this is uh, a message she sent in October. Hi Jason, I'm back with a story to tell you. So last night I introduced my mum to your "Let Me Bore You to Sleep" podcast on Spotify. She said she found your voice very soothing, and something she thought would help her to fall asleep. So she was listening while in bed but was still awake at 3am because she found you so funny not to worry though she said she'll be listening during the day instead while she's driving <laughs> no no I added that bit no. that's the problem that's, that's the problem with being a superstar you know it's uh, <laughs> hi Gemma Alice um, Gemma Alice I don't know if it's Gemma or Gemma Alice but has been listening to me for a long, long time, I think. Years and years. And Braden. Hi, Braden. Braden Barry. Hey, Jason. Just wanted to reach out and say a huge thank to you. Thank you for what you do. I discovered your channel many years ago, and to this day, your videos are still one of the few things that help me fall asleep. Just wanted to let you know you are appreciated and I hope you're doing well. So, hi Braden. So, another person that sent me a message here. So this is from Shelley. Um, thank you so much for helping me get through my loneliest of days. Thank you. Uh, just love your voice, it's so calming. You are my best friend that I've never met. That's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely message. So that's from Shelley. And the next one. 
See, this is quite cool. This person isn't saying how great I am, which is a shame because you know, I do like to hear that, of course. Um, <laughs> I do need people's approval, obviously. This is from Lee Ann. It says, Hi, hope you're doing okay. No updates for a few days, which is atypical. Looking for a post or something indicating you're on holiday. So this was back in July, and basically she's just checking up on me, checking up that I'm okay because I hadn't because I'm I don't know what level you'd need to be to be called prolific, but I kind of kind of near there, aren't I? In some ways, the amount of recordings I make in a month is quite a lot, about forty or whatever. Uh, maybe more so that's really nice because just ask you know seeing just checking up if I'm okay so that's that's really that's really kind so I hope that Leanne again I don't know if it's Leanne or it's Lee Anne I don't know but anyway the next one so hi Leanne next one is Bim Um, hey, just want to say thanks for your podcasts. They've meant the world to me. Thank you. So this one was uh, the relaxation hypnosis for anxiety and panic attacks, or as I see it, friendly and life-saving insights. And that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Bin. So I might have read some of these out before, but I'm just saying hello to those that listen. Another hello to Noel, my good friend Noel. And I'll tell you about him one day, actually. Um, I'll tell you how he helped me. In fact, I might tell you now. I might tell you now. Um, and another message from Elisa. That's a, a friend of mine, ex-girlfriend, actually, from a long time, 20, 23 years ago. So, I can't be that bad, can I? If ex girlfriends from that long ago still want to keep in touch. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, so, Hannah, say hi to Hannah. Um, Hannah Nelson. And she's just sort of saying thank you, you know, for what I do. I want to say hello to Krista. She says, I think it's a, a woman. Krista, is that? It could be a man, couldn't it? I think it's a lady, but it doesn't matter. You have helped me so much. Which way, which... Okay, this is just basically talking about Patreon and donating money and stuff, but you've helped me so much. So that's great. Hi, Krista. That's... That's why I do it. It's why I do it. It helps me as well. I, I, I'm a believer of, and I don't know. It might just, might just be a personal opinion, but I think, I believe, truly, truly, truly believe that the best way to help yourself is to help others. Um, but the most important thing any of us can do, well, not any of us, the most important thing that I can do, because it's not, it's not my place to tell anyone else what to do, but the best thing that I can do is to help others or to try and help others. That's the, the best thing that I can do with my life. And I'm not into the whole kind of, you should do this and you should, that's what I hear when people start saying that. It's not, it's not my place. We've all got our role in life, haven't we? And some people take a long time to find out what it is that they they feel they're here for. Some people perhaps never really find it. 
Some people find it very early in life. Some people find it and then they find another thing and then another thing. So it's, we go through periods, don't we? There might be a period in your life where you're a carer for someone or a period in your life when you're a student and that's the most important thing and that's what you need to focus on. Or getting enough money together to pay for a mortgage endowment policy, you know. So, you know, it's all bringing up children, whatever. Mine is just talking absolute rubbish into a microphone. So that's that's my gift to the world. <laughs> it is. Uh, what's the name? Brad. Brad send the messages. Uh, 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 uh. And okay, I was asking for recommendations. It's, it's asking about like which is the best one, what best YouTube video, and then at the end he says, "P.S. My ferret will be named Andre if I get one." See, Andre's famous. This is from Canada, so Brad in Canada. Andre, I would say, and I might be wrong because obviously I'm not, I've not looked into it. I would say Andre is probably the most famous ferret as far as regularly talked about and people from all over the world hear about him. Because I've got a worldwide audience. There's only seven people, but it's from seven different countries. That's worldwide, you know. So, oh yeah, what I was going to tell you, what I was going to tell you. Oh, this is exciting. The other day, I mentioned that these, you know, I've got six, I've got 35 podcasts. 35 different podcasts, but six of them are popular. Excuse me, I just did the big belch there. Blech. By the way, no one's contacted me or commented on my uh, hiccup removal technique I did the other day, which I thought was pretty impressive. I'm just mentioning it, just 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 pointing it out. It's quite amazing. So um This podcast is, I've got one, two, three, four, this is the fourth most popular podcast out of the six, or out of the 35, but out of the six. So, but then, because I've got three that are over 100,000, one's 100 and well, well over 100,000 now. This one's about 80, 81,000 or something. And the other day I was said that I do get more than that because these recordings are also posted on the three other podcasts. So I decided I was going to look into it further because I wanted to see, because I was kind of saying this stuff and I was pretty much making it up or well, I was guessing the numbers because I didn't really know but I kind of was figuring that you know I was getting just as much on the other podcasts as I am on this particular podcast well I looked into it and turns out that in November last month on the Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcast, this this just this podcast, I had five thousand four hundred and five downloads and I don't know how many plays but just I just focused on the downloads. 5,405 
and you know it's like that's not a huge amount it's it's a nice amount it's growing it go, it dips and it grows you know it changes um, it's really weird I'm looking at my curtains and there's actually a face the curtains are all crinked up crinkled so it looks like a little face that's nice and um, and the so 5,405 so what I did I looked at my hypnosis for sleeping deeply podcast and my sleep insomnia hypnosis podcast and the Jason Newland's free hypnosis service podcast where I also post all of my let me boy to sleep recordings and between all of them in November, I had 16,005, blimey, that train, why is it so loud? Look, if you've got any complaints, I think that's someone that's just annoyed because they're on a night shift. There's no reason to be making that much noise at night. Mind you, I do have the windows open, so that might not help. Not, I mean, how could they see the windows are open, though? You may think. So, 16,571 downloads in November. Last month. So, 5,000... So it's another 11,000 added on to the amount that I have just on the podcast. And I worked out how much that would be a year if I got that like every month. And it works out about 198,000 downloads a year just for the Let Me Bore You To Sleep recordings. That ain't too bad, is it? I'm quite pleased with that. I know it's going to grow, but, you know, it's, it, it's like it's, it's continuously grown since last November is when I first um, put these onto the podcast. I'd had them previously, so I'd had thousands of downloads already, but I'd got rid of that podcast and I started another one and then um, I've kept the Spreaker podcast for a year. Well, over a year now it was the 21st of November and I just it's like wow 16,571 and I was thinking because I looked at some of the dates so episode 248 so number 248 to number 263, those are the recordings I did during November 2019. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that would be about 16 probably 18 hours worth of me talking because I normally go over some, well, I quite often go over by about 10 minutes or 20 minutes sometimes but how many did I say there was? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so 16 recordings so I only did half of the month so I didn't do them every day and just looking at the stats for the different days and for the hypnosis sleeping deeply podcast I got 297 downloads for 200 for the uh, I'll just go I'll go down the I'll list 13, so from the 248 to 263. 
So for the hypnosis sleeping deeply, day um, number 248, I've got 297 downloads. Then 273, 399, 267. Number 252, I got 423 downloads. 373 downloads, the next one. The next one is 326 downloads, 302 downloads for 255 number. So let me boy to sleep 256, I got 375 downloads. The next one I got 375 downloads as well, again. Then episode 258, I got 342 downloads. 321 downloads and episode 260 I got 423 downloads 261 I got 445 downloads 288 downloads and then lastly episode 263 got 307 downloads so that was during November and for the sleep insomnia hypnosis I got uh, for episode 248 I got 284 downloads 249 episode I got 268 downloads for episode 250 I got 344 downloads for episode 251, I got 257 downloads. For episode 252, I got 342 downloads. For episode 253, I got 351 downloads. For episode 254, I got 311 downloads. For episode 255, I got 307 downloads. For episode 256, I got 332 downloads. For episode 257, I got 324 downloads. For episode 258, I got 307 downloads. For episode 259, I got 303 downloads. For episode 260, 385 downloads. Episode 261, I got 319 downloads. For episode 262, I got 246 downloads. For episode 263, I got 291 downloads. So the sleep insomnia hypnosis, I don't, from the looks of it, I'm just kind of scanning it, I don't get as many downloads as I do. I might be wrong, they might add up about the same, but I seem to, I didn't get any over 400, but with the hypnosis for sleeping deeply, I got one, two, three, over 400. And, uh, one, one, two, three. Now, for the Jason Newlands free hypnosis service, I don't get many, many downloads at all on there, generally, but for the, for the sleep hypnosis recordings, for number 248, I got 39 downloads, episode 249, 38 downloads, you can see it's a heck of a lot different, isn't it? It's like probably 10% of what I would get with the others. 
250, 41 downloads. Episode 251, 31 downloads. Episode 252, 36 downloads. Episode 253, 36 downloads again. I wonder if it's exactly the same 36 people. There's no way of knowing really, is there? Episode 254, 37 downloads. Episode 255, 42 downloads. Episode 256, 48 downloads. Episode 257, 51 downloads. Episode 258, 33 downloads. Episode 259, 49 downloads. Episode 260, 53 downloads. Episode 261, 51 downloads. Episode 262, 33 downloads. And episode 263, 41 downloads. So, altogether, 16,571. I kind of would like to go through the whole year, but that's that'll take ages and ages and ages. But, I'm quite pleased with that. Get rid of that piece of paper. Because I'm just looking at the stats now. And it's been a fairly good day, really. And... I've had, I mean, it's now a different day, it's the 10th of uh, December now, and it, it, I think it swaps over about half one, one o'clock in the morning, and so according to this, yesterday I had 200, no, 2,266 downloads and 26 plays. But that's often adjusted, you know, the next day, so it might be a couple of hundred more. I just wonder what's the... So the Jason Newland, Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service. I've had 18,386 total downloads. So I don't get hardly any plays or downloads really. Yesterday I got 62 all in all and 8 plays. And there was a time when that's all I would have. That's the only podcast I would have. But, you know, it changes. It's uh, I kind of try to go with what is wanted. Ooh, the, the 28 Day Stop Smoking Hypnosis Course. That's now 11,059 downloads. Again, it's not many a day though. I've had two so far today. 16 downloads yesterday. 31 the day before. So it's... But then there's only... There's four episodes plus another recording. So it's... It's alright, I suppose. I... All the others are pretty quiet. There's the chronic pain 30 day relaxation plan. Yeah. Two two downloads yesterday, five the day before. So that's 30 days, but they're they're just short recordings. It's 2263 in all. I'm always like looking out just to see if there's a a bit of a splurge or a rise kind of in interest in any uh, particular 
podcast because then I can give it attention. So the chronic pain relief hypnosis podcast I've had 5,295 downloads. There's 55 episodes on there, 55 recordings. And I know I'm probably, I'm probably, I am biased, but I think some of it's fairly good. Well, hopefully it's all useful, but there you go. So what other ones is there? So the deep sleep whisper hypnosis is now 106,640 downloads. And I've been neglecting it a little bit lately. I haven't been making recordings as much as I used to, which I need to address. I mean, literally, November, I did one, two, three, four, five. Five recordings in a whole month, which is poor. That's a poor show. And this month so far, I've made two recordings. And the last one was seven days ago. But in October, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven recordings in October. September, I did one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I did twelve in September. August I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that's, you see there's a big difference and it shows in the stats because yesterday I had 252 downloads, which technically is not too bad considering I haven't made a new one for a week. And today so far I've had, (laughs) oh dear, eight, eight downloads. The day before yesterday, 147. The day before that, 227. And the last recording, 334 downloads, 365. So if I make new recordings, I get more. I suppose it's obvious, isn't it? I get more um, people downloading and listening. So there's 166 episodes. Officially 167, but one of them's missing. I think it's number two that's missing, or number three. So 106,640 total downloads with 3,215 total plays. That's without the other podcasts that they're on. So you could probably do the same with this one as with the other so this is 106 you could probably add it's probably more like 300,000 for the deep sleep whisper sessions over the last year or maybe 250,000 or something All in all, I've had 595,731 total downloads in since November the 21st, I think. Or it says November the 11th. No, it's November the 21st. And 21,278 total plays. And I've had 38 likes. 38 people have liked what I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. 
So hypnosis for sleeping deeply. This is 119,705 downloads, 467 episodes. So this is a mixture of the Let Me Bore You to Sleep, uh, Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, That's it, isn't it? Let me bore you to sleep. Deep sleep whisper. Sleep hypnosis weekly. Yeah, that's it. Plus um, other older recordings that I did, you know, sort of in the past that are on there as well. Let's have a look. The... Deep sleep. Yeah, from the looks of this, the deep sleep recordings get higher numbers of downloads than the sleep hypnosis, the let me boy to sleep ones. So that'd be interesting to have a look, go through the whole year and work out how many I've had for each podcast, for each individual episode. That's a lot of uh, for laughing around. Wow. So I need to just, I want to just work something out. I want to see how many I got for the whole of uh, of last month. So in November for the um, hypnosis for sleeping deeply, I got 11,870 downloads. How many plays did I get? Nine plays. And this month so far, it's the 10th now, so I've had nine days, 3,398. Yeah. That's 119. Let me bore you to sleep. 80,241 downloads. 5,540 plays. And yesterday you got 289 downloads. And today you got 14 so far. So it's and there's 272 listenable episodes on there. Now I've now got the full package with Spreaker so I can have unlimited episodes. So I can literally have 10,000 on there and I'm covered and they'll, you know, which eventually I will have. But I am paying for it. So it's not like it's a free service. which I used to do I got proper stung by a free service that I had years ago and they decided to basically stop operating and overnight I lost half of my recordings and a lot of them weren't backed up so I just lost a lot of my work and at that time I was getting really, I was getting a lot of downloads. Uh, not as much as what I'm getting now, but it was pretty, I think I'm sure I'd reached like 100,000 um, by January 2008. I think I'd reached 100,000 downloads on there at that podcast. So yeah, it's a little bit frustrating to have lost it all. So that's, I do like this podcast. My best day of that podcast is 326 downloads and seven plays on the 23rd. 
but again I haven't yeah one two three four five six seven wow I've done quite well I didn't realize I've done a recording on the 1st of December the 2nd 3rd 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th and now 10th it's a 10th day in a row and how many days were in last month Thirty. So, I didn't do. I did one on the twenty ninth of November, but I didn't do one on the thirtieth. Oh man! Wow. All these recordings. I mean, literally. Let's have a look. I can show how many hours. Let me go back. I go into the actual app into the thing and I'll put together preview no that's not that one um, okay no it's not what I wanted I wanted yeah preview I want to see how many hours in total so if we're doing embed and playlist enabled play continuously wow so for this let me bore you to sleep um, podcast if you was going to listen to each one one after another it would take and that's without this new one that I'm doing now it would take 296 hours and 31 minutes to listen just to this podcast 296 hours and 31 minutes and what's that 20 that's a long time isn't it I mean it's 24 hours in a day so that's 240 hours would be 10 whole days and then you've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 another 56 hours on top of that so 12, 24 48 So it'd be nearly 15 days in total, continuous, 15 whole days of just listening to me. <laughs> oh man, that's just wrong. <laughs> and now it's gone up by another hour or so. That's a lot of, that's a lot of talking, isn't it? How did I manage to do that? Very strange. Anyway, let's have a look at the other podcasts while we're here. Um, so relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and stuff. That's 50,751 downloads. 1,436 1, plays. 75 episodes but there isn't really there's 66 but I added some relaxation recordings on there as well so the last recording I did was on the 3rd of December so yeah 7 days ago um, but yesterday it kind of fluctuates when I make a new recording I get a big spike of people listening and um, like f- nearly 400 so the 21st of November where is 20 yeah 20 21st of November 
and the 3rd of December so the last two I did so it's quite a big difference 21st of November the big spike it was 388 downloads and then the next day is 168 121 124 165 183 160 so it fluctuates and then the 3rd of December it's 353 and then it's 230 the next day 183 185 it goes down to 125 and then Sunday the 8th 256 and then yesterday 341 downloads so I don't know why it's gone up but you know I haven't done anything for 7 days but I'm due to do another one I'd like to do one every day you know I know that the stats would really rise if I did a deep sleep whisper hypnosis let me bore you to sleep and a, a relaxation for stress and anxiety if I did three every day one of one of those each day um, obviously the, the stats would rise considerably but it's finding the space and the time not the time so much but I don't know where Andre is half the time I, I need to if I'm going to start doing especially the sleep sessions I need to find a place where he's not going to disturb me with these it's it's not so bad you know if you know he's he's got a lot of fans out there so I think they I think it's I might don't know I'm, I'm only guessing I'm guessing this but some people might like to hear him in the background making his noises and it's uh, I find it quite comforting actually so when I'm in bed if I hear a, a noise, I know it's him. And it's quite nice to, I don't know, it just relaxes me. And by the way, just out of interest, if you're, if you're still awake, for the relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety, there's, I've got some relaxation recordings on there that are pretty pretty good which will probably send you to sleep so it might be worth checking it out but it's up to you so that's 50,000 and you know I've I'm only I only really started on that one there's only 66 recordings and I've got I don't do them as regularly as I could but if I started doing them every day I'll reach a hundred thousand within probably two months, maybe three. I don't know. So it's that will grow. Another podcast I'd expect to be popular, but it isn't. Is the relaxation hypnosis podcast? There's two hundred thirty-nine recordings on here, and. I've only got 12,354 downloads, 358 plays. And yesterday I got 13 downloads. And the, the most downloads in the last 30 days was the 11th of November at 60, 60 downloads. And Oh, that's, it's a bit of a shame really so I've got some of my older recordings on there it's, I think they're very groovy very 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 groovy so the next one is self help and self development hypnosis I'm only going through the ones that have actually got some numbers on them so this is 71 episodes to listen to 17,229 total downloads, 818 plays. A 
again hardly hardly listened to yesterday I had 37 downloads the most downloads in last, the last 30 days was 97 downloads on the 19th of November it's very poor you know the amount that I get um, the last recording I did was Forgiven Others Helps You and that was posted on the the 11th of the 10th yeah 11th of October 2019 and that's got 417 downloads I mean some of that stuff is sort of my best work kind of kind of um, so that's that one the next one I want to mention is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly so again it's supposed to be weekly I've not made a recording since the 5th of November it's awful isn't it I really I just just haven't got around to doing it I need to because it's people like it people like that podcast and it's it's kind of got a it's got its own audience if that makes sense uh, let's have a look Uh, last month twenty eight okay fifth November with this one it's steady if that makes sense. Um, like the last recording I did has had 1,135 downloads so it's not um, I've got a few recordings of over a thousand downloads so the number 21 1,175 downloads episode 17 1,132 downloads Episode 15, 1,069 downloads. Episode 8, 1,062 downloads. And the first seven, which is what I originally did, they're all over a 1,000, with a couple being... Um, number 1 is 4,090 downloads, and episode 7 is 5,499 downloads. So it kind of the last thirty days the most I've had is the twentieth of uh, November hundred and eighteen downloads. But yesterday I got seventy eight, day before seventy nine. But it kind of apart from a couple of little dips, it it seems to stay around the 80 kind of ish a day even though I haven't recorded a new one for over a month isn't it so if I was a little bit more if I, I'll tell you I can give you exactly da 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 So on a monthly basis, since I think it was, yeah, since May, I think that's when I started doing new ones, I had 3,130 in May, June, that's downloads, 2,675 downloads, July, 2,516, August, 3,069 downloads 
September 3,199 downloads. October 2,824 downloads. And November 2,343 downloads. And so far this month, the last nine days, 584 downloads. So I need to need to make more recordings really in order to so the listeners all that that is display data listeners too far I thought there was listeners. 584 Oh It's actually 3110 It gives me the amount of listeners Compared to the amount of listens So downloads but then how many people How many different people are listening Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it had that. That must be a new thing in the stats. Or maybe it's because I'm now paying the higher, the highest level uh, of, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a membership to be on Spreaker. They give me that extra, there's extra things that are available. Wow. So let me go back. So if I just go back to the standard. Just like the last 30 days. Oh, it doesn't show it. Plays and downloads. But if I do it by month. It gives me listeners as well as plays and downloads. Oh, no it doesn't. It doesn't do it for the whole thing. It just does it for individual podcasts. What if it does it for this one? It does. Wow. So November, 5,405 downloads, but 3,456 listeners. If I just do that last 30 days. Ah, that's interesting. So I've got 289 downloads on the Let Me Boy to Sleep yesterday, the 9th of December. 289 downloads. But according to this, are also plus six plays. According to this, there is 161 listeners. So that, that means that some people listen to it more than once. I honestly don't know. According to this, and again, I've got no idea if it's true or not, it says 100%, this is the demographics, 100% of the people listening is 45 to 54 year olds but I don't know if this is just for Spreaker or if this, this is like all the way across Spotify and everything I don't think it is I think it's just for the Spreaker people listen on Spreaker so 
So according to this, people that listen to this podcast, 40.22% is from United States. 22.05% is from United Kingdom. Canada is 8.4%. Australia is 8.24%. New Zealand is 4.30%. Norway is 2.97%. United Arab Emirates is 2.57%. Netherlands is 1.59%. Sweden is 1.53%. Germany is 1.41% other is 6.71% I've never heard of that country and then if it goes by city Sycamuse Sycamuse Canada I probably pronounced that wrong but and also Dubai United Arab Emirates Dubai now if Anthony Joshua is listening to this who's in Dubai at the moment or is, he has been and you just won back your world titles and if Listen To Me has helped you can I please borrow £10? Thank you. Wellington, New Zealand is 1.58% Fleck fl, This is Norway It's fl, Fleck Ford Fleck Fleckfjord Norway 1.54% guaranteed I pronounced that wrong San Fran Cisco uh, 1.21% Islington in England 1.06 Phnom Penh Cambodia hello Cambodia didn't know. I think I didn't know. I had listeners in this listeners in Cambodia. So welcome. One point one percent. Sarnichton, Canada, zero point nine eight percent. Auckland, New Zealand, zero point nine one percent. Greenville, NC, United States, NC. Is that North Carolina? 0.86% others 85 there's a huge amount of others there 85.09% in other words they can't be bothered to list everyone's sources according to this the top sources are Apple Podcasts this is just for the last 30 days 32.58% Spotify 27.72% Castbox 10.08% Spreaker 5.85% which is kind of weird considering it's on Spreaker but Stitcher 5.06% Generic Android app, 2.91%. Google Podcasts, 2.61%. Podcast Addict, 2.49%. Overcast, 1.78%. Uh, uh, Podtail.com, 1.46%. Pod Bean, 1.23%. iTunes, 1.08%. TuneIn Radio, 0.78%. Player FM, 0.58%. Pocket Casts, 0.56%. Uh, Sonos, it might be Sonos, I don't know, S O N O S, um, 0.48%, Dog Catcher, uh, 0.46%, Stock Android Browser, 
0.43%, chrome 0.32%, com.evolve.podcast 0.28% and other 1.26%. So that's the, if I go back, let's see what it's like for the whole of the year though, because that's just the last 30 days. So since, oh, it only goes, only goes back as far as June. So it only goes back as for the last six months. So Apple Podcasts again is at the top, 34.51%, 12,529. Spotify, 10,109. So that doesn't really make sense because... June two, three, four. Oh, I don't know. I suppose it does make sense eventually if I added it all up. But but Spotify twenty seven point eight four percent, Castbox nine point or oh, eight point nine three percent, and it's in that same order I think as before. Spreaker. My Google Podcasts, Spreaker, Stitcher. Wow, 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 wow. And let's see what devices. See, it's changing. I mean, it's it's moving more and more. Uh, phone, eighty six point seven nine percent of people that listen to me listen on the phone a tablet uh, is 5.92% desktop is 3.92% a smartwatch is 1.17% and that's growing TV 0.80% that's growing as well because you didn't used to get anything there before a smart speaker which should probably be like Alexa 0.21% and others 1.20% so I wonder if it's going to grow with the tablet or it's just the phone is just going to completely take over and it has taken over 86.79% and the operating systems iOS so Apple Apple phones are um, 56.72% Android phones 34.88% Windows uh, 203% Mac OS 1.80% so I guess that's for the laptops isn't it watch OS which is the Apple phone Apple watch 1.17% Linux 0.77% and then you've got Amazon Alexa uh, 021 0.21% Fire OS 0.16%, Chrome OS 0.05%, Proprietary 0, Roku OS 0, and other 2.21%. That's for Yeah, 
that's for this that's for this uh, podcast wow it's also got um that's why I was getting confused because I was I was thinking the numbers aren't high enough but it was for just for this podcast not for all of the podcasts because that would be different there's an evolution which you can click on and it shows how quickly some of the the top the top ones and how they've grown So which are like the most popular recordings? According to this, episode 272, oh, I don't know, I just want to go back, see the statistics, go all the way back to see if I can go back to November last year. I can and then try and do sources I only allow it from June oh I st- so this is different now because I was thinking the numbers aren't right but for the last six months Apple podcasts I've had 166,896 downloads from Apple Podcast. Spotify, 48,370. Castbox, 25,365. Stitcher, 23,824. iTunes, 8,918. Overcast, 8,095. Generic Android app, 7,739. So just going down, there's... There's quite a few. What am I looking at? See, what I don't understand, right? iHeartRadio. When I first joined Spreaker, a few years back, a couple of years ago, and I've been on there a few times, deleted it, come back, deleted it, and this year's, I've kept it for the whole of the year, and I'm going to continue. But the, what was weird is iHeartRadio was getting loads of downloads, and now... According to this, iHeartRadio, I've had 520 downloads in the last six months. I was getting that a day in the past. Wow. Oh, I've got another message. Where do the messages from? Oh, that's weird. I got a message here, but nothing's coming up. So it's on Facebook. Hmm. Huh. Oh no, maybe not. So there are a few other people I wanted to say hello to. Andre's just gone and... He's got a life of luxury he has. So I want to say hello to a few more people. Natalie Merkley. Hello Natalie, I want to say hello to you. Thank you. Um, What Natalie does... Something that's really cool is uh, 
she shares my posts on Facebook so maybe you'd like to do that as well uh, just to reach you know help to reach a larger audience help to let other people know about the boringness that I provide and so that's really cool so thank you Natalie I do appreciate that and do, 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 do. who else have we got do, 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 do. And Bethany hello Bethany how you doing thank you for listening and say hello to I don't know if Letty is listening hello Letty Natty hi Natty Joe Johnston hi Joe Johnston hello so Bethany Maria hello let's go back to the main Facebook so what three Facebook pages that you might not be aware of the first is kind of like my personal page but it's not really because I don't really have much in the way of life real life kind of friends or family on there generally it's more I've only ever been on Facebook to try and promote my stuff and I've made friends along the way as well so things like someone like Boston, Sebastian uh, Letty Brooke um, some that I don't, can't really mention their names but there's some, you know, lots of people that have helped me out as well um, so hi to Nicholas also, hi Kay, Rudd Burroughs hello and who else have we got let's have a look at the people that uh, are being Molly Rose hi Molly Peter McGuffey Sherry hi Sherry Boston Chicky Rachel Elizabeth Nick Meekins uh, Lilith Asriel hello let's have a look who else Noel as well and So there's, there's a few people that are like Kay, I thought we mentioned that, that uh, regularly like my stuff and listen like on Facebook and maybe like put a comment. And But if anyone would like to share my, my recordings, I've got Judith here uh, onto your own, you know, just share it on your own Facebook page. It just gives other people a chance to, John Kelly, hi John just to you know share it so I've got um, the Jason Newland hypnosis that's my normal page um, then I've got a let me bore you to sleep page which if you go to Facebook just put in let me bore you to sleep and the page will come up and I've got I haven't got that many, I've got 112 followers on there. I've not really been promoting it to be fair. I did when I first got it, but I, I only post my Let Me Boy to Sleep recordings on there. So I don't post anything else. So it's, it's just a, an easier place to find stuff if you like to find stuff via Facebook. And then my other Facebook page is one that I've had for a long time is uh, facebook.com forward slash Jason Newland Hypnotist and this is I got 29,000 likes uh, on there and I post everything I do on this on this page as well so and so that's that's that one on Twitter Um, 
Yeah, I'd like to say hello to a couple of people on Twitter as well. I don't, don't get a huge, huge, um, I don't do that much on Twitter, but I'd like to say hello to Doreen Donald and Sally Reader. Um, so thank you, because, you know, for liking my stuff. Aria has started following me. Hi. Tori Lynn started following me. Hello. And just going down. Natalie, Natalie Merkley has followed me there. Hello. Oh, it's going down. It's going, it's going down really quickly. Oh. Big Dice Roller. Okay. Helen Haywood. Tad Cheese. Um, Tan Cheese, rather, sorry. Lem02 started following me. Um, Abigail Nicholson and Beth. Again, hi to both of you. Elaine Kent. Hello. And arrays replace. Hello. There's quite a few people. that are sort of Dominique, Nikki Roscoe. So, hello. I'm just having a look. Notification. That's cool. So my profile, my on Twitter is twitter.com well basically it's my profile name is Jason Newland or one word Jason Newland J-A-S-O-N N-E-W L-A-N-D and I've got I haven't got many followers I've got 650 followers it says here that I'm not following anyone but that's not right I'm following people um, because if I go to home there's loads of things that are coming up oh I think Yeah. Okay, so it's got um Yeah, this I'm looking, some of them, I think because I deactivated um, Twitter, when I reactivate it, it takes a little while to get back. Matt Hardy, who's Matt Hardy? Oh, hello. So that's my Twitter page. And my YouTube, if anyone's interested. Oh, no, that's the one, the one, not the one, not the one. YouTube. I do post all my stuff onto YouTube. All my video, all my um, podcast episodes. They're on YouTube, but it's there's no video. It's just literally the audio. But I kind of figure that's all you need, isn't it? Off. I think. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I'll like to see. Just time to log in.
I'll just go into YouTube. You don't have to log in to use it, I don't think. Do we? I'll just search for my name. Jason Newland. So I've got 1,011 videos. And so there's a picture of me lying on my side. And it just says, it says 344 subscribers. That's all I got. And it says, my name is Jason Newland. I've been making hypnosis videos and MP3 since 2006. So that's the Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service. That is my um, that's my YouTube channel. That I, I don't get a huge amount of views for for any of the anything really, especially the the audios, but. I put them on there for people who do want to watch them or listen to them. Because I know video, you know, YouTube's for videos, isn't it? Really, but um, yeah. I mean, my most popular videos on here is "Try and Stay Awake Hypnosis Challenge," and that's three point one k. So it's three point one thousand views. And funny enough, I didn't see this coming. The second most popular is the ASMR Whisper Avengers Infinity War Jigsaw Puzzle. Well, I'm just doing a jigsaw puzzle for 54 minutes. And it's 906 views. That's 11 months ago. The third most popular is Natural Deep Sleep is Your Birthright. 741 views. So that's when I opened the YouTube channel a year ago. And the fourth most popular is Kick Insomnia's Ass and Sleep Like a Baby. 529 views. So it's... It's mainly sleep stuff, to be fair, that gets the most views. But, um... I used to be very, very active on YouTube. You could say, you know, I've got 1,000 odd um, videos, so I'm quite active, but. Um, my most popular YouTube channel, I had 500,000 plays, uh, views on my channel, and I had about 3,000 subscribers, um, but then I deleted it and. You know, kind of uh, lost that momentum, as it were. I might start making videos again. I've got the equipment I need. I've got, you know, video camera. I've got... It's just a case of... I don't know, just... I feel more comfortable just talking into a microphone. This is feels a bit more comfortable for me you know but so anyway if you want to find me on YouTube just put my name in and it's J or you can just type in Jason Newland free hypnosis service and that will find me or just put in Jason Newland and it will find me as well there's loads of videos I said there's um how many did I say there was? 1,011 videos. So when I put my name in, not only was did I come at the top, um, my picture and the, you know, with the big subscribe button and stuff, but there's also um, a bunch of videos as well, like latest from Jason Newland Free Hypnosis Service. And then other ones uh, related to your search there's one, two, three, three other channels, and then there's me again, me again, me again, me again, me again, me again, me, 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 and then there's another Jason Newland, which has seven videos, so it's nothing to do with me, 
that's another channel that's just a big J with an orange uh, circle with a, a J in white and then there's more videos if that is a video here it's a really good picture my New Year's interview with fellow hypnotist Jason Newland enjoy oh no it was a video I made with Adini but it's his channel and it got 907 views New Year's Eve we did that and great picture really good picture and it's me 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 <laughs> there's a lot of me's here yeah I think really when it comes to YouTube if you put my name in I come up you know I'm the because of the amount of videos I've made over the years and yeah there's a lot and there are hundreds of videos of me actually on video as well it's not just audios and there are hundreds of videos where I'm actually on there and you can see me you can actually watch them you can see me gradually get older because I was what 30 I was 35 when I first started now 49 so I've uh, there's different different phases of my life sometimes I've got no hair sometimes I've got really curly hair sometimes I've got a beard sometimes I've got no beard um, you know it's and then right down the end there's two more Jason Newlands uh, there's a bloke with a hat there's another one with a bald head with a tattoo on the back of his head they're not me and then there's more videos of me again and and there's another Jason Newland with a uh, person with uh, glasses and looks like a, a hen a hen beak like with glasses so that's not me one two well that looks a little bit like me but it's not there's more ones of me and going down 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 There's more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then right at the bottom, Jason Newland, spelled with J A Y S O N. He was um, on the X Factor in 2013. So there's a video of him doing his audition. I think he got through to the live finals. I think he did. And then Jason G. Newland, who's uh, he's uh, a doctor, a paediatrics doctor. So there's a video of him. And then there's more videos of me. Oh, there's a, there's a video number 53, Let Me Boy You to Sleep. And I've got Andre in my hands. Wow. So Jason Chat's vlog. Wow. I forgot all about this. I don't remember having this here. So the Jason Chat's vlog. And it's got um, a bit. Whoa! It says there's eight videos, but there's only one.